Hi Cancer, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot, an oracle card reading for all Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, you have the card of security here. This will be the theme to the reading brought to you by the Sacred Destiny or a card deck. So we're going to have a general reading, the theme, security. I like that energy. It looks like a campfire to me or perhaps a bonfire, a summer beach fire. That would be nice. All right, let's consult the tarot. What advice do you have for cancer, please? What does cancer need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with cancer? Messages for cancer. All right, I think I mentioned general reading, and then we'll close things out with a an Angel Answers Oracle card reading. You have the Three of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, the Seven of Swords. What's he doing in there? The Wheel of Fortune, the King of Cups. You and your own energy, you're going to enjoy that a lot. The World, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. Well, I do feel like you have, a, you have options coming in. I feel like somebody around you is not going to like it, though. I feel like they're a bit envious. Somebody needs a hug, okay? That seven of swords, but it doesn't have to be by you. So I definitely feel like with this, so you're going to have a nice turn of events. So things turning in your favor. I like this a whole lot. I think you're going to like it too in terms of the energy. This is half the reading, by the way. The other half of the reading is all earth energy. But with this, it keeps things balanced, but it brings in excitement. It brings in change. It's very much emotionally fulfilling energy. So changes that come in make your heart flutter. They make It's good things happening. There's definitely no downside to this. So we have here Scorpio, Aquarius. We've got Leo Taurus showing up here. Like I said, we have plenty of water going on here. The Three of Pentacles is also a wonderful card in terms of new endeavors, new doors opening for you. So I feel like with the housing market, you've got both the two Three of Pentacles plus the Knight of Pentacles. If something didn't happen or there was some detour for you, I do feel like it's going to happen now if it's something with housing. And so if there was some pause hit, you know, like one of those things where it was going and then it seemed like it got delayed, I feel like it's going to get it's going to get carried all the way through is what they say. But I think what I like about this is with, with the energies that are here, it's going to be done in the right way. So you're not going to have to go back and try to fix things up later. Now, this Three of Pentacles is also collaboration and teamwork. So if you are changing jobs or you're even moving somewhere, I feel like you're going to have you're going to have great coworkers and it could be just a negative coworker that's coming in as that 7 of swords. I feel like it's somebody who's not very happy in their own life. And so they tend to infuse negativity and needless worry and it's like why would you even bring that up? They make comments that you don't even they don't even really make sense in a way. I feel like it's somebody who's doing that because they don't know how to be happy for someone else because they're hurting. Hurt people hurt people. We've heard it all before, haven't we? And so I do feel like you're going to come into a, a beautiful time of security, and that may be their Achilles heel. They're feeling insecure. They've got, I feel like, some insecurities about money, and it's just how it is. So I would say leave that behind, especially if it's a coworker. You might say, well, I'll never talk to them again anyway. So with the Two of Cups, you're going to be finding a beautiful match. Now, if it's a relationship and it's someone around you who just tends to kind of throw in this, just say, just have these layers of negativity, they throw in needless doubt and worry. I don't feel like you're going to spend too much time on it anyway with the Two of Cups. It's a beautiful union, whatever it is. So even if it's a job or it's a housing situation, especially too, if you bought a bit of a fixer upper and you're passionate about it and you're intrigued by it and you're pouring over you know, Pinterest and things like that. And you're all in. I just get this feeling of like, I am all into this and it makes you happy. Do it, do more of it. And so with the um, two of cups, so you've got kind of a whirlwind coming on with the wheel and the world here. So I do feel like whatever it is, it's not just a match, but it's one that brings in real joy. And so enjoy every sing single moment of it. I would say this is one of those times where you're going to want to freeze time. It feels so perfect. So with this ne this negative, <laughs> I didn't mean to say it. I was going to say with the seven of swords. With this, it's also to the tarot warning you. 
okay? Because the tarot, the cards don't lie. And when one pops in and it's such an odd duck amongst the rest of the cards, it's oftentimes a little pop-up nudge. Like, you know how this person is. Make sure that you're aware of that. And I'm not trying to say be guarded, but I just feel like, I guess I am, because I feel like whatever this is, don't let it harsh your mellow. Don't let it bring you down. And so with the right precautions and your own awareness, you might find you keep conversations with some people to a, a minimum. Maybe it's all about work and it has nothing to do with your personal gain. And you can't, you know, people can't follow you for that. You're at work. You don't have to talk about your personal life. Or if it's somebody who's a friend and it seems like they're asking because those are what friends do. We ask about personal stuff, right? It's like that's how we know each other. I feel like they may have an important call you have to take. You know, one of those things where you just kind of say, I'm, I'm so sorry I can't talk longer. I'm in a hurry right now. It's one of those things where you insulate yourself from the negativity. So, and with the um, Wheel of Fortune, you're going to have plenty of calls to take. You're going to be plenty busy because the Wheel of Fortune, whatever was held up here is when it gets unstuck. We love the wheel because it gives us a nice big burst of energy. It pushes it all forward. It's wonderful. The wheel of fortune. It's never the wheel of misfortune. This doesn't bring in yucky stuff. It brings in wonderful things. It's also too though with this world energy, these two together are dynamite. They're, the the way that these cards are, there's so much symbolism, very important symbolism showing high vibration, but it's also new doors opening. Now, these are both cards of travel, and they're also cards, too, of moving. So if it's moving that you're talking about, you're going to be on top of the world with it. And like I said, I just wouldn't let somebody burst your bubble. It just feels too great. And so with this Wheel of Energy or Wheel of Fortune Energy, if you're waiting for an announcement, I do feel like the information, because this is answers to questions, it also helps you to know what to let go of. So if there is a relationship dynamic that's changed, it may also help you to know this is just not what it was. We're just not the same anymore. And I don't feel like it, it needs some big dramatic conclusion. I just feel like it's about being in flow, staying on that spiritual beam, allowing those good things to happen in your life. Now, if it's a relationship, I feel like you are going to take off like nothing else. I mean, it will be one of those times where somebody will, you'll see somebody and they'll say, I thought you were single and you're like married already. It just will move easily and effortlessly. This person's very easy to be around. They're very complimentary to your energy. And that's what I like about it, where you get each other. And there's like, it, there's like just no unhealed wounds. I heard like trauma bonding, but I hear it like in the way that it's not, okay? Because sometimes that, and it, look, I've got a lot of trauma training. I'm not putting it down, okay? But I'm telling you, there can be a lot of challenge with trauma bonding in terms of a relationship that sustains, all right? It just can be one of those things that's not always the foundation that we're looking for. And with this, I feel like you're going to be with somebody, they're happy, joyous, free, Happy, joyous, free is what they keep saying. Now, it also could be another water sign. It could be a cancer. It's a king of cups, whoever it is. You're coming into this place, though, where your energy just feels right. And so you're going to find that it's a very emotionally satisfying period. Information you get makes your heart feel full and rich and beautiful. And so with this king of cups, you also may find that people want to get to know you better. You're going to have new friendships, new acquaintances, new people that you don't just see once where they'll contact you later and say, hey, we're going out or we're doing this. If you do any kind of hobbies, they're going to invite you. Do you want to be part of our book club? Do you want to go on this wine tasting thing? Do you play volleyball? You know, that kind of thing where you're going to find that you're going to be with like-minded people and doing similar things that you all enjoy. And it might be if you haven't been in some situation like that in a while, it might take you a minute to get used to, but you're going to feel like it fits like a glove. And so with this energy of the King of Cups, you are the master of that really great life. It's when things become beautiful. So the world, I told you, it's that one moment in time. You're more than you thought you could be, right? Remember that one from Whitney Houston? So with this energy of the world, though, it just feels right. It's like, my God, this couldn't have gotten gone any better than this. So even if there was a delay, I feel like you're coming into your own. You've got a homecoming energy here. This dancer of the tarot is a very mature energy. It's also being open to new experiences. So I feel like they're trying to urge you in terms of socially, be open to joining new groups of people. People invite you out, especially if you got to close the door on one. If you say, I just don't want this toxicity anymore. I feel like it's what it does for you is it just ushers in new energy. 
and these people are wonderful to be around. So with the world, you're on top of the world, all right? It really is a card of true success. It is a card of beautiful expansion. It's reaching nirvana when you have this. So anything you're set out, setting out to do, I do see it as moving forward. This Knight of Pentacles is important here because it is cautious and protective energy. But like I said, I feel like it's also a situation that if it was slow going, it's going to be done the right way. It's also telling you that there's commitment coming along. So you won't have, I heard like a, a matador with his cape. You won't have somebody ripping the cape back, okay? It's like even a promotion or a job change. If it's been slow going, it, you the reason why that's important is that it's going to be done the right way. There's not going to be some big upheaval. You know, you're coming into a very stable time. So financial set success with this is in the long term. Relationships are the long term. New people that you meet. Again, it's like you're finding your group. You're finding your people right here and right now. And so this two of pentacles, you have the infinity symbol in both of these. So when we see this, it's such an important symbol because it's telling you you have unlimited opportunities. I also feel like too, if it is a move for you, I feel like you're going to have new opportunities. You're going to meet new people. I just feel like your social life's really going to take off. So I feel like somebody here is going to be in a place of real gratitude. It's like being very great, grateful for the abundance, for the things that are coming into your life, but also too for the security. Remember that from the very beginning. So let's consult the angels and see what else you need to know. Cancer. What advice do you have for cancer, please? Messages, please, for cancer. Meditation brings answers, so quiet the mind in the stillness of your soul. They say it's up to you. You're going to have choices. Like we said, twos are about partnerships, and you definitely have one coming in. The situation will improve, so if you need healing, you've got healing and security within the next few weeks and we've got choose a new direction so be open to the change go with the flow good things are coming cancer i love you and i'll be back again soon